After last week's midpoint episode, we're back with Star Trek Picard Season 3, Episode 6. The third and final season of Star Trek Picard is charging ahead, and tension is building. However, we've almost got the Next Generation crew back together. Therefore, this week we'll see the arrival of Navarre Burton as Commodore Geordie LaForge. As usual, Trek Central has preview pictures, promo trailers, and a healthy dose of fan theories. The official synopsis, in just a minute, hints at where our crew is going this week. After last week's encounter with Michelle Forbes' Roe Lauren, the USS Titan A is on the run. However, as both storylines of Worf and Picard are about to collide, both groups are likely to beat up, as revealed by one of our promotional videos for this week. Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 6 is directed by Dan Leo and written by Christopher Monfetti. It's also titled The Bounty. Spoiler warning, we're previewing the upcoming episode of Star Trek Picard, in case you didn't know by the time I've mentioned it. So don't watch if you'd rather go in blind, you have been warned. Here we go. Welcome to Track Central, I'm your host Captain Jack. Alright, make sure to let us know your thoughts and theories on this upcoming episode in the comment section below. While you're there, hit that subscribe button, right here, as you don't want to miss our coverage of this week's Star Trek Picard episode. Okay, engage. The synopsis of this episode goes as follows. On the run, Picard and Titan's skeleton crew must break into Starfleet's secret facility to expose a plot that could destroy the Federation. Picard must turn to the only soul in the galaxy who can help, an old friend. The synopsis teases what we might expect, but before we theorise about what's going on, let's take a look at the material so far. This week's preview pictures give us a great preview of the upcoming episode, that is their job. We've got fantastic shots of LeVar Burton back in uniform once again. Additionally, LeVar's real-life daughter, Mika Burton, plays Alanja LaForge alongside him. She can be seen alongside her in-universe sister, who is played by Ashley Sharp Chestnut. The Ready Room clip reveals that Raffi, played by Michelle Hurd, and Worf, obviously by Michael Dorn, are on board the US of Titan A. They're likely coming straight from their previous location, but there's also a great shot of Worf shaking hands with Jean-Luc. Now, a shot features William T. Riker alongside Worf and Raffi. I presume this shot revolves around part of a plot for the episode. Therefore, we should perhaps expect your typical Star Trek Away mission. Many Star Trek fans awaited years for the return of Worf and the Forge, with Jean-Luc Picard being reunited. Finally, we're getting this moment with Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 6. There's also a fantastic shot of Gates McFadden as Dr. Beverly Crusher alongside Jean-Luc. See all the images on Tracksons.net and on screen now. Okay, the teaser trailer. Remember, if you want to watch these clips in full detail and HD, then click on the link in the video description to watch them. Anyway, this teaser clip opens with Vadek doing the evil villain talking, saying, the night will brighten with the ashes of the Federation. She can also be seen laughing and flying around Daystrom Station. So perhaps she intercepts the USS Titan, or Starfleet at Daystrom Station to prevent them from discovering the truth as to what's going on. Frontier Day is referenced again, and this looks to be from a scene we see in the Ready Room clip, which we'll talk about in just a second. Both Worf and Raffi can be seen on board the USS Titan A. However, it's also seen to Riker and the away team boarding what we can presume is Daystrom Station. We see this room and have seen it multiple times, which seems to contain android holding boxes. In one of the recent trailers, spoiler warning, Paramount forgot to remove Law and B4 from his boxes. Well done modifying the trailers, guys. So we can safely presume that we'll see the pair here, hidden away. And I love this. What a great way to- and we kind of realise they'd show up at some point, and what a better place to hide lore, before and maybe data. The Ford says how many treaties have been violated by Picard and the crew. Now, you've got to love Jean-Luc's apply here. He says Starfleet will just need to add it to his tab. I think some of the humour that has been written for both Jean-Luc Picard and William Riker is fantastic in this season. Hopefully this episode also adds to it. I think the writing overall is stellar, I mean even Shaw's joke about crash landing or rather hot dropping the Enterprise D source section last week was amazing. Or they might remember that time that someone hot dropped the saucer section of the Enterprise D on a planet. As always, last week's Ready Room app show featured a clip from Star Trek Picard Season 3, Episode 6. The clip, which you can watch below, shows us Raffi, Worf, on board the USS Titan A. Raffi and Worf, that's how those words work. 
However, part of me does wonder if they use the last remainder to get to wherever the Titan is. Therefore, what do they do with it once they leave the ship afterwards? It would be great to see more of the ship actually doing something this season, given it's never former hero ship from the Star Trek Picard series. The preview clip reveals some details about where the story will go. Jean-Luc and the crew need to return to the scene of a crime. It has been established that something else was stolen from Daystrom Station, not just the Portal Gun Tech, which was also alluded to that Frontier Day will be our villain's big target, and that may be being used there. This event has been mentioned multiple times in Season 3. However, we've all seen part of it in preview trailers for Star Trek Picard Season 3, such as the Enterprise F flying around with fireworks. And also in the credits, I think we can see it as well. I think my favourite part of this clip is Riker's quick remark to Picard about the use of a certain word. We'll stick it here. So we burgle the very institution hunting us. Excellent use of the word burgle, Admiral. Okay, theory time. There is a lot of speculation around this episode. Personally, I think we'll end up seeing the US Titan go to Geordi LaForge, while Riker leads an away team to Daystrom Station. That way we get the traditional Star Trek episode, and this being one of the things where the character does one thing and the other set of characters does the other thing. But you've got to wonder if Starfleet catches up to them at some point. Also, going straight to the Fleet Museum, if that's where LaForge actually is, which we've kind of been hinted to, LaForge is based on the trailers and tidbits of info, it would give the game up a little bit. I mean, wouldn't Starfleet just go there anyway? Regardless, I think this episode will see the Fleet Museum, and therefore some of our long forgotten hero ships. There's already a glimpse of the museum at Anthem Prime in Star Trek Picard closing credits. Therefore, we've got a lot to work with. Going back to Daystrom Station, however, last week we heard about some sort of complex AI that guards the station. I've seen a bit of speculation online that it might have something to do with Professor Moriarty. I think the theory could hold some weight to it. If we look at the introduction shot in the trailer for Moriarty, then we look at the preview picture of Ryke, Worf, and Raffi wandering around, then I think it's safe to say this is Daystrom Station. The sets look eerily familiar. If so, Moriarty is the AI that is guarding the station, and that's my Star Trek theory for this week. Let me know what you think of our theory in the comment section below. Other than this, I don't have much to say about this episode. Likely this will spin off further plot points for us to follow through with. We'll need to wait and see. Okay, we're past the halfway mark now for Star Trek Picard Season 3. So it's gonna need to start thinking about moving Soy past this mid-park and resolving some of the plot lines. After this episode, we'll only have four more left. And that looks like upcoming episodes will give us all of our next generation characters. Those who are living anyway. I mean, we know Brent Spiner is showing up in some form. He was Law before, or maybe somebody else. Maybe we'll get ahead of this this week with we'll Adventure to Daystrom Station. I think we will. Oh, and of course, we need Deanna Troy to actually show up sometime soon, rather than just a video link. I'm missing Marina Sirtis. Okay, Star Trek Picard Season 3 airs on Thursdays via Paramount Plus for those in the United States. Additionally, on Crave and CTV Sci Fi Channel for viewers in Canada. Have a new episodes air on Fridays via Amazon Prime Video in international regions like the United Kingdom. Paramount Plus also streams in the episodes in select locations such as Italy, Germany and France and a few more. Check your local listings for that. Okay, let us know your thoughts and theories in the upcoming episode in the comment section below. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Live long across my friends and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.